Hello, everybody. Dokkan Assets. I mean, DVZ Assets <coughs> here. How are y'all doing tonight? We are back with a another animation analysis video. I figured since we are just about to get the Int Golden Frieza EZA here on JP, it's time we take a look back at the most recent, excuse me, Golden Frieza EZA. That was my smoothie that I just drank. And obviously we can't really take a look at Int Golden Frieza himself because his super attack is like two seconds and it's from 2017 or maybe earlier than that. Um, and obviously it would not be that much to look at. So I decided why not take a look at Fizz Golden Frieza's animations. Now, this guy did come out in October of 2020 on the JP version of Dokkan, so that is something to keep in mind when taking a look at this essay. Obviously, this is not a brand new essay, but it's certainly not a really old essay either. So, we're not going to hold it to the standard that we do for modern day units, but we're also not going to be letting it get away with too much either. By the way, we are using the global version of the essay, and that is only a unfortunate just because the JP animations when they post them on Twitter show more of the actual like space they show more of the super attack animation unfortunately I don't think I was uploading active skills when this guy came out on JP and super attacks and all that stuff to my YouTube channel but obviously I've uploaded the English one here um, so we're just going to use that one for the sake of this video and it should be fine but anyway as per usual let's go ahead and watch through the animations one time through on normal time speed and then we will dissect them so i will say there is a lot of really cool small things in this essay that i really really like and i think that even though the super attacks for the especially the base form are pretty simple um there is still a lot of good stuff in them this i think is easily my favorite animation for this unit i think they did a really good job with this transformation it's so simple but it gets the point across very well and i think they capture frieza's personality super well in the animation for sure they did a great job at making him shiny by the way like every single shot in this super attack where he is in the golden form i think they capture that shiny look for him um, very, very well for sure. These were obviously the units that were dropping on Global for the Awakenings, I believe, um, at the time, but we're not going to take a look at those today. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the animations. Whoops, I'm going to the wrong thing here. For the base form version of Angel Golden Frieza here. So obviously, we have the first shot here where he's standing over the rock with his foot on the rock. That's a very cool detail to note that it is actually over the front of the rock. That does look pretty cool, if I do say so myself. We have a nice white fade transition to Frieza standing over the rock. One thing that is cool about this shot as well is that even though the camera shakes a little bit here just to kind of, I guess, emphasize the movement a little bit, as you are zooming out from Frieza, because obviously the way this animation goes, you're zooming out, they do actually have a small bit of arm movement, which is pretty cool because realistically they did not need to do that having Frieza's arm extend like I can't really see any other part of his body moving here right like I don't think the rest of his body really moves but I do quite like that they added in that small little detail um, of his arm moving and extending out to fire the key blast I think that is a pretty cool little detail so obviously we have the key forming first of all even though it is just a circle growing in his hand, I do like that it's sort of growing outward because it fits the angle that this guy has. I definitely like the effects that they used for this key blast as well, where they have the little dots inside and they have the little lines as well. Very unique and obviously, you know, it looks like the key blast from this scene as well. All right, so even though this is just a... PNG of Frieza basically firing this key blast. I will say I do think that this looks pretty good. Again, keep in mind this is a 2020 super attack, so we're not going to judge it as harshly as we normally would. But I think for just a standard PNG standing there, and granted, I don't really know what else I would want them to do in this particular scene, right? Like, I think that what happens here gets the job done, right? Like, Frieza doesn't really have any hair to flow in the wind or anything like that. Like, little details, like maybe he could take a step forward, but honestly, I think it looks fine for what it's trying to show. 
So this part is pretty interesting where we have just the sprite um, caught in the key blast here. Again, I think that the key blast actual like look um, here is just kind of okay. It's kind of funny that it just sort of goes over to the enemy and then it's just like wong, 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 and then it's there. But I do like the explosion effect because obviously that makes it feel a little bit more like natural, like it's small. And then of course it explodes right on the enemy and then it kind of traps them in there and they put those effects that they had. Um, on the ball again on here, which is pretty cool. And it's nice you can see the sprite as well. It just kind of gives a little bit more like three-dimensional depth. So I will say this is such a cool effect right here. What they did with Freeze's hand right here. Ooh, I really, really like the look of this. I don't often see something like this in an essay. This almost kind of reminds me of like in a couple of modern essays we've taken a look at. Um, they've done like a little bit of like blur effect, but that's more so to give it like a little bit more depth in like a three dimensional sense. This is just like Frieza holding the character in place and they're putting a really cool effect on it. I love the way that they did the blur with this and literally like keep in mind, this is just PNGs moving on the screen. So it's crazy that they got it to look that good. Now I will say it is a little bit unfortunate because they don't really animate Frieza's hand opening here. It is just a fade, right? You can see his fist is closed and then they have the open finger, right? Like kind of just fade in a little bit and then it goes into the full finger here. Which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. We also have another fade up to Frieza lifting the finger. Um, I'm glad that they include it, even though it is the fade. Because obviously, you know, it makes a little bit more sense for the rocks to be rising this way. But it is cool that they do bother to animate the finger actually being in the little ripple. Because I feel like that's something the animators could have forgot. But obviously because it's technically behind that like weird like heat wave sort of looking thing, right? Um, his finger would be distorted. So it is cool that they um, remembered that as well. Oh, I did not know Frieza knew the multi-form technique. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is what I'm talking about where I'm not really the biggest fan of when they do like quick fades like this. I wish there was a little bit more animation of Frieza like moving back for sure rather than just having him go from one stance to another like this. Um, this little white like blast I guess is okay as well. Obviously it's supposed to simulate like the sort of this effect, right? What well, I'm not sure what to exactly call this effect, but this effect sort of transferring into like finally throwing the rocks forward. And wow, I actually did not even notice this. They actually blurred the rocks when they did this. You can see that they look just like normal assets here. And then when they have them thrown forward, they actually blur them um, with a little bit of motion blur, it looks like. Um, that's pretty cool, obviously, to symbolize the movement. And they do have some speed lines as well. So then you have the rocks fly towards the enemy. And they actually do break apart in a pretty cool way. Like as they make impact with the um, like key blast that the enemy is trapped in, they actually do break. And then obviously once the smoke cloud is there, um, they kind of mask them breaking a little bit, but obviously they still do, but it's sort of like, you know, they're going into the smoke cloud and then not really escaping. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. Then we transition to the card art here before we get a really cool shot with Frieza putting his hands over his head. And there is a little, little bit, little bit. It is a little bit hard to miss. Obviously, um, there is the movement of him bringing his hands up right from the bottom of the screen, which is a nice touch. By the way, gotta say the background in this scene looks amazing. Um, we have a small little bit of hand movement um, from Frieza right there and his fingers as well as he's going to form the key blast and I like that the background gets darker as well as the key blast begins to form that is a very nice touch because obviously all the light in the area is coming from the key blast they also do a fantastic job shading Frieza here as well obviously with the light sort of emanating from right above him it makes sense where the shading is here 
Then we have it panned down so that you can see Frieza's face, and I actually really like this shot. I think they did a pretty good job with this. It is super simple, but I think it's very effective. We obviously have the Key Blast forming above Frieza's head here, um, which also looks really, really good too. The Supernova forming above his head, right? Then, obviously, we have it cut to a full shot of him, and you can see he's standing on the rock, which, again, looks pretty cool. Um, a pretty good cut, if I do say so myself. I think this shot, funny enough, is looks really good for, like, an angry Frieza sort of expression, because I will say one thing in some other shots of this essay, uh, like the essay specifically, not the active skill, I feel like sometimes Frieza doesn't exactly look like Frieza, but I don't know why this shot, like, makes me feel almost like this is like a shot from the manga or something. But either way, this shot has always kind of tripped me up ever since I saw this character's animation. I wish there was a little bit more of a change here. They do a good job of keeping the shading and the coloring consistent and the quality of the assets. So it's a little bit less like jarring, but he does go from this gritting teeth pose to crazed gritting teeth posed if you will right um obviously with the veins bulging there and i think that this expression does look fantastic but i just wish there was a little bit more in between here because even when this is in full time speed it does look a little bit awkward with that quick change either way this is pretty cool the one thing i wish that this essay did a little bit better was that there were more frames in between these different poses for frieza right like i really like what they're going for here and i think what's here does look pretty good right like this screaming expression for frieza looks really good um i do kind of wish that his hands were i guess a little bit more flat i will say because it's weird because like the key blast should almost be in between his hands rather than like above his hands because obviously key typically in dragon ball forms from the palms not the fingertips i mean i guess unless it's like a death beam but i suppose you can do key control and just like control it either way but regardless enough nitpicking right we have these very quick right like this looks okay but then uh 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 <laughs> like very weird transition again i wish there were more frames in between here because i think that that would make this look a lot more fluid right we even have another really quick pose change from his hands up to actually throwing the blast and while i think again the poses that are there is there a little bit of arm movement there did i see that and a little bit of leg movement wow i've never noticed that before yeah there is a little bit of follow-through on the arms. That's pretty cool. I actually never noticed that before. I don't know why they put leg movement there, though. Because if... Uh, maybe... It, oh, you know what it is? Maybe it's just the shading changing a little bit. Very interesting. But yeah, either way, in that whole sequence, I wish there was a little bit more frames in between there. I think the key blast in the explosion does look pretty good, though. Um, definitely no complaints from me on that one. Overall, though... Even though the essay is very simple, I do quite like it. Okay, so, oh man, when I saw this animation, when this first dropped, holy moly, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I knew I really loved this unit, because wow, this animation is so good. So this opening shot is so good. It's a fantastic opening shot. You see him standing there from kind of under, and then you see the golden aura sort of begin to form right under him as it's kind of like building up right like his power is quite literally building right you have the cut in you have a golden transition literally gold which is so cool because obviously they could have just done white but they threw in the yellow tones in there so that's really cool obviously we transition to frieza with his head thrown back um and obviously his body pulsing a little bit as the golden transformation finally takes over take is that the right thing to say takes over well either way covers his body i suppose you would say right just like in the anime how his body pulses a little bit and then you see the golden transition right into the actual golden body here and even though it's kind of dark because obviously it's supposed to be like so bright around him you can see the transition of color pretty well like right you can tell that this is white and a little bit more of like a different shade of purple 
and then when he actually goes to golden right you can tell that it is actually a little bit more of a golden tone which is really cool so obviously another thing to note is just these little flakes that are flying around this whole essay very very cool and yeah this whole sequence with his body pulsing and the different flashes of gold especially that touch oh my gosh this is a great thing throughout this essay and i'll talk about this again at the end of the active skill but this this little glimmer of gold that they do oh man that is such a nice touch like if they would have left that out I feel like I wouldn't have liked this animation as much, but that is such a perfect touch for this essay. And honestly, when I looked at this, especially in like the full motion, right, like full time speed, I think that they actually put just the right amount of frames in here for this entire sequence, right? Because like obviously in slow motion, let me play this for you in regular speed. In slow motion, it looks a little bit wonky. But in full movement, let me also not go full screen, my bad. In full movement, right? Oh, it looks so good. And it's not only that, but it also, I feel like it captures exactly how the anime did it as well. In like the same sort of frame rate that they did this section or the same like way they had Freeze's body like move in this section. I don't even know how to describe it because I think they did such a good job with it. They absolutely killed it. But anyway, yeah, so we have a golden transformation to Frieza finally standing there in his iconic pose before we have the gold sort of come into view. By the way, wow, look at how shiny this bad boy is. They absolutely killed it on the shine. I think the shine looks so good. Definitely a stellar job on that. And they're not even done yet because we get a great zoom in shot to Frieza's face here as he closes his eyes and oh my gosh just to emphasize the absolute pure golden form we have the golden gleam go across Frieza's body here which is such a nice touch and this perfect sinister expression that comes across his face they definitely could have just left it with his face like this but this is such a nice final little touch to this animation to just have his form or have his face excuse me turn into this sort of like twisted grin oh so good this is definitely an animation that stands the test of time i think like i said easily for me this is my favorite out of all the animations and i think most people would probably agree that this is the best one out of this unit even though i do like the super attack and i do like the super attack for golden freeze as well as the base form one i i don't know i think that the active skill just absolutely killed it right they did such a good job with it all right so now we go to golden freeze and you can already tell like even from just raising his hand that's right we're going in depth on the hand raise there's so many more frames in here that make this look so much more fluid that like it, it makes the uh, it i don't even think for again a 2020 essay i don't even think the base form one is that bad but just like the minimal movements in here in the like you know not going frame by frame like the regular motion right they just did such a good job animating this with like the tiny little like nuances in the way that frieza moves his finger and like curls his finger as well oh my gosh they did such a good job in that and then obviously um we do have the i will say the one thing that was a little bit weird about this is they have the shading sort of come in prematurely like before the key blast is actually there i think they have done that in dragon ball sometimes where it gets a little bit darker as it's kind of like the key blast is about to arrive but it is still a little bit trippy but obviously we have a very nice death beam here it's cool that instead of this, them just doing like a line basically right they actually animate it like exploding out a little bit from this hand right before it actually extends off screen. I think they did a good job animating that for sure. Hits the enemy with a really cool looking explosion. Then we have, is this the, wait, I actually didn't even notice this until now. Is this the same pose he takes in the beginning? Hold on, we gotta, we gotta click to the beginning of the essay. Oh, that's a neat little detail. I actually never noticed that. Yeah, that is, basically the same pose i think his foot 
is flip flop the other way. Yeah, but that's still pretty cool. Um, and again, the golden shine. Ooh, they nailed it. Literally got it perfect. Like, he literally looks so shiny. This is a really good shot as well. Even though it's just a zoom in of a PNG, I still think that they got freeze up really well. This is also a really cool shot here. Obviously, people really like this angle in movies and shows and stuff. I know I've seen this angle a lot where there's like the enemy character in front of them and you're kind of looking like from the ground between the legs of the person who's standing right in front of you. I think they did a good job with this for sure. The like even golden gleam is present on this section too. The one thing that is a little bit unfortunate is they do use a little bit of fade here. You can see that in these like in between frames when they're kind of getting Frieza landing a little bit, right? You can see, <laughs> look at that big chonky leg right there. That looks so weird paused like that. It's a little bit less noticeable in full time speed, especially since it's so quick and it's such a minimal thing. But again, it would have been nice if they would have just added more frames. I do like that they have his tail animated a little bit, though. Um, definitely gives that animation a little bit more life rather than his tail just sort of standing there. This section is really cool. Uh, it, this does look a little bit goofy in the slow speed with his face just sort of fading in, but it looks okay in the... Um, full time speed, I think that's an example of where the fade is okay, and it looks good. Um, and then we have the death beam, the way that it's fired off looks good. The red look on Frieza also looks fantastic too. I think they did a great job shading this part as well. Obviously the minimal hand movement as well to kind of go like, you know, pew, 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 just like he's firing them off randomly. And as well, emphasizing that by the way that the key blasts look here, very, very nice job. Then we have the card art come in here before we have him raise his hands here, which actually this section with the hand raise, I think is animated pretty well. Does he have, wait, one, two, three. That looks really weird with the way that his fingers are. He has one, two, three, four, five fingers, but it just looked like so trippy to me. I don't know why. But yeah, obviously we have him um, change his expression a little bit and lift his hand. That section definitely looks good as well. I will say though, this is one of those times where I was talking about before how Frieza's expression does look a little bit weird. Like it's still sinister and it's still believable that this is Frieza. But something about his expression here definitely feels a little bit off. It's a little, it's just a little bit, a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. It just feels a little bit off for sure. All right, so then we have the final key blast form. Again, looking fantastic in the way that they do the lighting for this section. I think that Frieza himself looks really great. Um, this shot where they have it sort of transition from the front here um, to the side here, I think is also a pretty cool transition as well. Very simple, but I think it's really effective. And then obviously we have it pan to the side where Frieza's expression changes immediately. I will say even in normal speed, having this change from like one frame to another is a little bit weird. That's one time where I think I would prefer the fade, ironically enough, but um, definitely not too bad. And again, I think the key blast here looks great as well. We obviously have this fly towards the enemy. I love the orange scenery as well to sort of emphasize the color here. And the key blast, and especially this explosion effect. Holy cow, look fantastic. I love the way that the explosion effect sort of moves here and like dissipates like smoke. That is really cool and a very nice attention to detail as well. But that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Obviously, your boy is trying to uh, get this channel more up and running. So I would highly appreciate it. Definitely more active skill and essay and all that good stuff analysis videos coming your way. And please let me know what you think of this unit's stuff in the comment section below. I always love hearing what you guys have to say about these units. And I definitely think, honestly, like... I'm really impressed. Like, I already knew going into this video that it was going to be mostly positive because I, you know, I've seen this guy's essays plenty of times and I know that they're really good. But, like, I'm impressed. <laughs> For a 2020 essay, granted, again, 2020 was not too long ago, but... For a 2020 essay, I think that this guy holds up really, really well, and I think that he still will hold up for quite some time, especially that active skill. 
But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please enjoy the Int Golden Freeze at EZA for sure. I cannot wait until this guy gets an EZA someday. That'll be really cool to see. Can you imagine when that happens? But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Hill Connors, it's out. Peace.